Hello boxing fans, right now I am talking about David Price versus Audley Harrison. So, I've been thinking about this fight very hard because I want to give Audley Harrison a fair shout. As I have not already noticed, I am a big fan of David Price. I've been to see him fight before, I'm going to this particular fight. I need to give Audley Harrison a fair shout. So, I understand it is fashionable now to call Audley Harrison every name under the sun. And I've got no opinion if that's what you want to do. Yeah, do it if you want, but he's never done me any wrong, so I'm not going to do that. This fight is, at, is obviously at the Echo Arena in Liverpool on the 13th of October. And obviously, as you know, I'm going to be attending in person. So starting with David Price, the champion. He has won 13 fights, 11 by way of knockout, to zero defeats, zero draws, undefeated in 13 fights. He's literally been a wrecking ball in his career so far. And he's getting better and better at his competition level increases. Next looking at the challenger, Audley Harrison. He has won 28 fights, 21 by way of knockout, to 5 losses, 2 by way of knockout, and that's a 33 fight record. He's had a pretty much stop star career all throughout his career since he won the gold medal at the Olympic Games. He has got injuries in his last 3 fights and I'm only telling you this because before you start going on about what Audley Harrison might do or anything else, just realise this. He's got injuries in his last three fights. The Sprott fight, he got a pectoral tear. The David Hay fight, he says he got a right shoulder injury tear and got in the ring with it. In the Ali Adams fight, he tore a muscle in his upper back and shoulder, which supposedly stopped him throwing as many punches. Is that just showmanship or what, just him trying to be a good salesman? I don't know. And I think before, you know, what everyone else I should tell you is Audley Harrison has been sparring with Deontay Wilder, who has something to prove, let's be honest. So let's say the training camp is going to be very vigorous for this fight. Can his old body stay injury-free? Or like in previous fights, will he come in with an injury again? Statistically, it doesn't look very good for A-Force. Moving into the advantages and who I give to what. At the power, they've both got good power, but I edge it to Price. He does have a hammer of a right hand. And at 18 stone, he really does punch his weight. He sets up his power shots through set, through sound technical boxing and has a variety of shots that he can use. Not only that, he hurts Sam Sexton with his left hand as well, which shows he's becoming an ambidextrous fighter in the way that he can hit with both hands. Audley, on the other hand, he can punch. We can we know this. He does have the good backhand that every southpaw needs. He can get it off sometimes. He doesn't throw as many because he's getting older now. And it does work against a lower level of opposition, as you will be able to see in the highlight video I've posted on the other channel that should be in the description. Against better opposition, it's not worked. Looking at the speed, I give that to David Price. He does have the faster hands. At this level in his career, he also does set up a great jab. He's very consistent with it, and he works off his power shots from that jab. He also, once I've been looking at his highlights, he does set up good combinations. He can switch from the head, from head to body, which is very unusual for a heavyweight. Usually, you know, if you look at heavyweights, there's very few that use combinations, and very even fewer that switch from head to body. It's all single shots, so that's going to be something very dangerous for Audley Harrison who doesn't have great speed at the age of 40. You know, it's regressed greatly. He doesn't throw a lot of shots either. He just tries to get one or two real quality bombs in there. Look at the movement, and I'm, I'm really happy with Price's movement right now. He's got real fast feet. He moves around the ring very well. He's mimicking the clutch goes. He's, he's got good speed, good foot speed. And like I said, he's doing very well. Oddly, however, he doesn't. He seems to stand there, and whenever he gets hit, oh, oh he shells up becomes immobile and just tries to survive. This is one of the problems when you're not with the top quality trainers because he's never been taught that, you know, you need to start moving as well, mate. You can't just stand there, shell up and try and survive. Looking at the chin, and people say that David Price has got a weak chin, but has he ever been hurt as a pro? You know, he got hurt and stopped as an amateur at the top level, but he got sucker punched by a guy, by a heavyweight guy, in his first pro fight. And in 10 seconds later, he knocked the guy out. Take note, by the way, before you go, oh yeah, so what? Andre Durrell complains he almost died off a sucker punch from Arthur Abraham.
Victor Ortiz was dropped off a sucker punch from Floyd Mayweather. Audley Harrison, on the other hand, has been hurt before in the pro game. He's been stopped before and he's been knocked out cold before by smaller men than Price as well. I mean, I think David Hay hits as hard as, they, as Price. You know, a 16 stone fella will hit as hard as the 18 stone Price. Take that into account, maybe. And, you know, looking at the boxing ability, David Price, I give it to him. He's the more efficient boxer right, right now. Boxer, sorry. He's more effective. What else can I say? He's good, you know. He can fight more than at one pace than Audley Harrison can. I don't think Audley Harrison could match a high pace that Price says he's going to put down. His work rate is going to be much greater than Audley's. And the ability to la to land the right hand is going to be even greater. The only thing Audley does have is he will be able to... He has, been, he has shown that he can land the right shot or the lucky shot in his career. That's one thing Price will have to look out for. However, that being said, something that I've not seen anybody else mention you know considering that price is orthodox orderly southpaw one thing that no one has mentioned is that orderly will be even more susceptible to the right hand because he's a southpaw no one has mentioned that that is a fact it's a it's a genuine fact every southpaw will be more susceptible to an orthodox right hand it's just the way it is price has got a hammer of a right hand and all is more susceptible to it that really is all i need to know even when I look at the defence, you see, I actually want to give Audley something in this fight. He doesn't have great defence. He gets hit too much. He get he got hit too much by Ali Adams, and he, even though he won the fight, and I just don't see it's going to be a great a great fight for Audley Harrison. Overall, you know, I just want to say, you know, Audley's got a great great salesman pitch. People believe what he says, even if they hate him. Sooner or later, they turn around and say, you know, yeah, Audley's got a good chance in this fight. Because he just can land that lucky shot. It's what he can do. He's a great salesman. But the only problem is in the year 2012. The product is not as good as the product in the opposite corner. So for that reason. My logical prediction is that David Price wins this fight by knockout. Probably between rounds 6 to 8.